Hey everyone, so today we're gonna learn how to do a diving front flip from height or just a front flip and land it safely and how to learn it safely because it is a way to get down off of high ledges and the front flip, if landed the right angle and the right way is actually less impact going into the roll than just doing a straight drop and the reason why is because you have forward momentum, you have rotating momentum and then once you're hitting, it's gonna throw that roll like so naturally and so easily that you'll barely feel it on your legs. So that's what's really cool about it, but it is more dangerous because if you over rotate, you'll belly flop, and if you under rotate, well, you're gonna take all of the impact to your legs or you're gonna land on your butt or back. So we don't want that, so let's learn how to do this safely. When starting this move out, you'll wanna already have a solid front flip down, whether off low ledges or on flat ground, just the basic technique down of setting, tucking, and spotting and opening up for your landing. Now, when doing it on height, as you work your way up, each level that you go higher and higher, you're just gonna, going to want to be aware of what it felt like to do the previous height, and then when you go up like, say, a foot or two feet higher to try it, once you're confident to do that, you're gonna adjust it slightly to just open up a little bit sooner, or to hold the dive, your initial set, a little bit long. The main thing people can struggle with doing front flips from height is overthrowing it because their muscle memory is so conditioned to just throwing it hard, pulling it super tight, that by the time they open, their body's still rotating before they touch the ground and they're just gonna belly flop. So you wanna make sure to avoid that, that you get a nice set, you tuck it and open up kind of early so that you're kind of at an angle where your legs are out. So with your rotation you still have, you know, you can still rotate to your feet, but it's a slow rotation. So by the time you get to your feet, you're landing upright with your legs extended and going into the roll. But once again, from different heights, you're going to have to adjust it even more. And so that just comes with lots of practice, experimenting with how long you hold the set, with how early you come out of that tuck. And so just make sure you practice it in a gym or onto padding or into a swimming pool, wherever you can do it safely to get familiar with what it feels like to do it with from different heights. And then over time, as you build up that instinct, that awareness, that muscle memory, you'll be able to just go up on something high, look down and go, oh yeah, I could front flip that and do it without hesitation. But don't do it without hesitation. Do it with focus and planned premeditation so that you're always safe and prepared for the actual move you're doing. So that's the basics for doing the diving front flip and doing front flips from height. Those same principles will apply to other flips from height. So you can just think about that when practicing back flips or side flips or things like that. But the front flip is the most efficient to do into a drop and roll because of the momentum it's giving you.